is it? I'm going to block it. The big yellow thing. <laughs> you know how there's always a poster. Yeah, Did I you know. do the jacket for the others? Uh, I, I was in yeah. on that one. And we have speed. I just yeah. watched that. In Venice, I did it. I oh, wow. I jumped in Venice when we did the festival there. I just saw it the other night. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not on video yet. They sent in an early copy. Yes, I did the, the the video junket. The oh, okay. DVD junket. Yeah. Well, let's uh, now. This this is a rare type of movie, I think, to come along. Mm -hmm. for, well, you tell me. I mean, you read a lot of scripts when yeah. you read this. Well, I think it's rare because I think it deals with things that people don't want to look at in families, you know. People like to think the South is full of all this graciousness oh. and all this, which of course it is, and the kind of coinage of language that lends itself to graciousness and, and uh, you know, allowing people their space and etc. And underneath is this dark river of secrets in mm -hmm. families and, and those are the things that people don't talk about, they're ashamed of and they don't get to talk about and so it festers and it, it pays off in the next generation by people being crippled and you know, uh -huh. hey, the South doesn't have a You're corner about on the that. South, right? Yes. I'm, I'm, they don't have a corner on that. That's worldwide. But this story's set there, mm -hmm. and I think that's that's what's so valuable about it. Well, they've had movies like uh, Steel Magnolias. Yes. Similar. They're great ensemble movies, and this is one of those. Yes. Great terrific ensembles. ensemble movie. Terrific. And and I mean terrific ensemble in every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. I mean not only terrific actors, but terrific people to work with. Just great times. And you obviously were on board before they cast the two younger characters of you. Because I was um, noticing they looked. You you yeah. had the closest reason. I recognized, I didn't have to listen for the name, I recognized who played you in the younger scene oh, you immediately. Did. Oh, good. They did Thank something you. to you. I don't know. They, they must have made her. I am. Um, well, Jackie, Jackie McKenzie, who mm -hmm. plays Teen C. Younger, um, who I think is a fabulous actress, and we got together before she went off to shoot. And because she was shooting her stuff first, first the little girls, then the younger Yaya women, and then we were the old broads were coming in. <laughs> and so we got together and we talked about mannerisms and we talked about mm -hmm. attitude towards the characters and towards the other characters, etc. So we did have a little chance. And then when I went there, they fitted me with contact lenses to match her eyes because okay. she has hazel eyes. And and so those kinds of things we, we tried to care. I'm so glad that that came across. That with, yeah. with your character and actually uh, Maggie Smith's character too. Uh -huh. That was an easy one. Yeah, well, and Caro, of course, because Caro has much more involvement with the young Vivi during mm -hmm. her worst times of brutality, etc., with the children and everything. Um, Caro, it is who who runs herd on that with the chef that scene. So yeah, it's uh, that that was that, that 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 was interesting. It was a very challenging thing to do. Yeah. Now, when you worked with these other the. You had the four, and well, Sandra Bullock too. Yes. Is, this is the first time you've worked with any of those. I'm, I'm not any sure. Any of those people? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, what was? I don't know. I, I, we should talk about individual people, I suppose. But, for instance, um, Maggie Smith seems like a very fun person to work with. But then again, I don't know her. You, yeah, you she is. Well, Maggie is. Um, uh, uh, she's she's a terrifically talented woman, and mm -hmm. she's has a, has had a marvelous career and, and great credits. And what's fun about working with those people is you don't have to kind of start with acting 101. Mm -hmm. We all know we can act, okay? So we just get on with. It's like fencing with masters. Yeah. You know, you don't have to go back to the the, the absolute rules. You can you can take a few risks, and you can feed one another the fabric of that's going to be there in the film, even when you're not speaking or or taking part actively in the scene. There are those, those looks and those not looks and those, you know, frowns, smiles and whatever, all of that. And the, the not replying to a line is as important mm -hmm. as replying to it. So, so you, you get to do that with people who, are, who know their craft and that's great. And you got a chance, this is, think of one thing, your last role was the others, was it not? Yes. yes. Talk about 360, that character you play, <laughs> the character you play in this movie is completely yes, uh, well, a thank fun, heavens. It seems like a fun character to play. It's a fun character to watch. Yes. Well, The Others was a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. You know, he is an extremely talented filmmaker, and, and, uh, and, and, and I loved working with him and working with Nicole. It was just great. But the, um, when I came out of the, the premiere in New York, and my husband and I were standing on the pavement waiting for the car to come, and people were coming out and, and sort of looking at me and looking away, and, and my husband, who gets worried about these things, said, N nobody recognizes you. And I said, believe me, if anybody recognized me from that movie, I'd slit my throat, you know. I mean, no. I, I haven't done my job if people recognize me from that. 
and uh, and then came the yayas and then came you know going from manicures and pedicures and getting your hair done every day and you know having this wonderful makeup and and and, and, the, and the, the yellow Rolls Royce and all the clothes and all the whatever and smoking and carrying on and you know and being very frou-frou as my father would say so 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 it was a totally different trip and and refreshing because you know the the others was a long shoot with an intensity to it that it needed uh -huh. but you also needed a different kind of intensity and they have in common with the strangely the pictures have in common the search for owning the darkness the darkness within you in order to find out to find the light you know wow. until Vivi owns her yeah. darkness her daughter is not free to find mm -hmm. a, a true happiness. She's not free to find true happiness with her daughter. And the same is true of the others, you know. Until the protagonist finds, owns the dark deed within her, she'll never find the light. That's amazing. It's so simple, but yet I never saw that until you pointed it out. Well, they <laughs> paid me vast it. amounts of money to say I this. I know. You know? <laughs>